kind of leader would you like to be one day? Oh, like metaphorically or like as an actual like, because I would be president, I would. <laughs> My name is Skye and I'm currently a junior in high school. I feel like it's important to have female leaders in medicine because it'll lead to less of a disparity in research. My younger sister was misdiagnosed and they refused to give her a diagnosis of a condition she clearly had because the research was so skewed towards young boys when it presented itself differently in young girls. And I feel like if we had more women leaders, then they'd be able to advocate for women to be researched because it's not only that medical diagnosis that my sister needed, but it's also so many other things. Okay, hello, hi. Hi, I'm Sky, <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So what aspects of STEM interest you now? Right now, I'm currently interested in chemistry and possibly mathematics. I do have a really nice science teacher and I've done science my two years of high school. And it's just something that interests me a lot. What do you think about the future of the STEM field with women like me who are wanting to enter it? Are you confident? I think it's really exciting. One of my social media algorithms that it, is that it does show me women in science, like astronauts and like swamp biologists and like geologists. And so for young women who are coming into STEM, I think it's a very exciting time. There's a lot of mentors, there's a lot of possibilities, there's a lot of opportunities. What is your perception of what science and math and medicine and these fields are like for women? I'm aware that it's possible for women, but I do know that there's a lot of discrimination. I see it on social media. I see people telling stories about how their bosses don't think that they're as capable as men, when in reality they can do so much mm -hmm. more. And can you tell me a little bit about how you got involved in Girls Inc? Yeah, so I was recommended to Girls Inc. by my therapist in fourth grade. I was very timid, I was self-conscious, and she told my mom that this program would be really life-changing for me. I'm just so grateful that I entered this program uh -huh. because I was so vulnerable. Mm -hmm. I was about 10 years old and I was having body image issues. I was having anxiety and depression. And I'm so glad that I was placed in an area where there were so many girls who were going through the same thing. Mm -hmm. And they really allowed me to just flourish and then supported me throughout my teenage years. What advice would you give yourself or your younger self? There's more than one way to be. Um, you know, I came from a really traditional Chinese family. I thought there was one way to dress, one way to be as a woman, and um, to know that I don't have to be any of these things, I can just be myself, probably would have helped me more when I was younger. One of my colleagues was saying, like, you know, we don't want to be treated equally because what if we're better? Then yeah, I exactly. want to be treated the way that I'm worth, you know? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. It was so it was nice really to talk nice to you. To Thank you, Dr. Chen. I'm really excited for your future. Yeah.